Mr. 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 Speaker, as has been put very clearly, these talks have dragged on for too long. In fact, they haven't even started in earnest. And in fact, Kenyans have developed fatigue over the talks. There are many Kenyans who have already lost interest in those bipartisan talks. So it behoves all of us, if you want to rescue them, to move with speed, but move with speed in good faith. Otherwise, for now, Mr. Speaker, uh, I take it that your communication sets the ground for, for us to engage further. Thank you very much. God bless. Honorable Ichungwa and Honorable Wandai, you have been given the rare and unenviable privilege of leading this house. You must show leadership. It is not enough for the two of you to come and prostrate yourselves before the house and engage in unproductive lamentations. I want to encourage you, the two of you, the seven members from either side you nominated are your nominees. And you must guide them, you must show leadership, and you must lead. Because the country is looking at this house to sort out this issue. If the head of the house is crying, what will the children do? So I want to encourage both of you. I don't want this matter to keep resurfacing on the floor. You have offices given to you by parliament. You have staff given to you by parliament. You have members who work under you. Sit together and get this matter moving. And I want also to encourage you, tell your co-chairs, I do not understand the logic of co-chairs sitting next to each other in a meeting, writing endless letters to each other. Call them to order and encourage them that they have been given a responsibility to discharge and they must discharge it. Next order.